I can't wait to start terrific toucans with you. They're a mixed media bird. Let's get started. All right, for this part of the project, we're gonna be working on the jungle background. Now we will need a green piece of paper and your paper should be going tall in front of you, that is vertical. Now with a green crayon, you can peel off part of the wrapper or all of the wrapper, and we're gonna be pinching the crayon, um, creating a rubbing all over the background to give us kind of a lush green jungle textured paper. And this is a simple, easy way to get a quick texture on your paper. So just complete your background by rubbing green crayon all over that space. All right, once that's done, we're gonna move on to adding some vines. Keep going. After the rubbing, we're now going to take the green crayon and we are going to create loop-de-loops going up almost like you're drawing a circle and then back around across your paper. You can decide which direction if you want to go across or up and down. We're going to add loop-de-loops across our paper. This is going to look like vines in the background of our jungle. Once you create your loop-de-loops, then we're going to move on and start working on painting in our branches. We're gonna use a paintbrush and the brown paint that you have. We're gonna dip our brush, and then we're gonna start painting across what the branches are going to look like. But you know what might be a good idea? Is to take a pencil, and we are going to draw a few lines across our paper where the bird is going to be sitting. So with the pencil, I'm gonna use Sharpie so you can see it, we are going to draw one line across, to the top and then another line across the bottom. We are also going to add some baby branches on the sides and top and bottom. Once you get your branches drawn, that's when we can go back to our brown paint. Dipping in our brown paint, holding with our helper hand, we are then going to paint over the branch that you drew in pencil. You can dip your brush and make your brush a little thicker to fill in any gaps. From here, we're gonna continue painting our branch across, also taking our brush and outlining the baby branches we have hanging off of our tree. Once I paint my baby branches going up and down off the main branch, I can use my brush to add a few extra itty bitty tiny baby branches coming off. And you're gonna do the same thing to the bottom branch. Make sure you hold with your helper hand. Keep going, you're doing great. Once you've finished painting your branches, go ahead and put that paper to the side, and now you're going to find your bird stencil. This is what we're going to use to cut out and trace the bird. Now, if you don't have this, you can always draw this on your own. It's a half circle with bumps at the bottom, a smaller half circle at the top, and then a triangle shape for the beak. But we're gonna start taking and cutting out our bird body shape and working your way around the bird body very carefully. Take your time. All right, now you are going to pull out your black piece of construction paper. You are gonna take your bird body stencil, placing that very carefully and holding with your helper hand on top of the black paper. You are then going to get a pencil to trace your design. Now, please be sure to use pencil and holding that very still as you work across, um, holding your hand nice and flat, very carefully trace around your design. Once you trace around your design, you are then going to get scissors and carefully cut out on the pencil tracing your bird's body shape. Once you have the body shape, we are then going to kind of fold and crinkle our paper just to give it a little extra texture. So rolling and crinkling it should be kind of wrinkly when you open it up. It gives us a little bit of texture like some feathers on the bird. We're then going to take the white beak tracer. That's a separate piece that you cut off and a small sheet of white paper. You are also going to hold and with the pencil trace around your design. Very carefully as you trace around the design, moving your hand out of the way to get that pencil around it, you are then going to take the stencil off and complete any lines that didn't get finished. From here, you're going to add three pointy triangles at the top of the beak. 
once we get the triangles drawn, we're then going to take a black Sharpie and outline everything. Um, carefully follow those pencil lines. Once you outline them, then we're gonna go ahead and we can erase if you see any pencil lines. And then we're gonna start working on the coloring for our beak. Keep in mind that toucans have very brightly colored beaks. So take the pencil eraser, erase those pencil lines. You can see how later this will fit back together like a puzzle. So looking at that beak, we are now going to use, um, you can use markers or crayons or color pencils, coloring your beak pretty much any way you want, nice and vibrant, have fun with it. Now we're going to take our scissors and carefully cut right next to the Sharpie line all the way around that beak. Um, be careful not to remove any of the Sharpie line or the color. Take your time, work slow, and cut that beak out. Now that we have that beak cut out, we're gonna go ahead and remove our supplies. Just move those to the side. Kind of clean up your workstation a bit and bring in that background with those brown branches, our jungle background. So we're gonna kind of put our bird on the paper just to see where the legs will go on that branch. And then using a glue bottle um, or glue stick, you are going to flip to the bird to the back and add our dots. Remember dot, dot, not a lot. Work your way around the outside of the body, not putting the glue too close to the edge. And then we're gonna add a couple of dots right down the middle. Then when you're ready, turn that bird back over and just getting a spot where his feet, the two round bumps are where the feet are gonna go are gonna be on one of the branches. It does not matter if your bird's body does overlap other branches. Pressing it down, making sure that it sticks into place. Once we get that glue down, we're gonna find our beak, see where it matches back up. Go ahead and put some glue on the back of that. Dot, dot, not a lot. We're just squeezing on a few dots, not piles of glue just a couple of dots and don't forget the middle. When you're ready, turn that over and put it back together like a puzzle. And be sure to press that down as well. Very good. Okay, so our next step we're gonna be working on is adding some extra details to our picture. So once our bird is glued, if there's any edges that need to be re-glued, flip them back, put a little extra glue and stick that down flat. Okay, so now we're going to take some um, paper. You can use decorative paper, you can sponge your own paper. Um, we're gonna flip our paper to the back and we're gonna start working on leaves. Please draw your leaf shape in pencil. I'm gonna use Sharpie so you can see it. Ovals are great, football shapes are great, drawing a smile or a half circle. Um, work on both pieces of paper, make them fairly large. They should be very big using most of the paper. Then you are going to carefully take scissors and cut those shapes out. All right, once you get those leaf shapes cut out, go ahead and bring that bird body back in. And now with the leaf, we're going to add some extra detail to veins that go up the leaf. Now you can have fun with this. You can draw straight lines, you can add curls at the ends, just adding extra detail just to make those leaves look a little bit more realistic. And also outlining around the edge of your shape with that black Sharpie marker. All right, keep going. Okay, there's our beautiful leaves. Put those to the side. Now bring your bird back in. The next step is to attach the leaves. Now we're going to give the leaves some dimension or make them look 3D or a little bit more realistic by folding the leaves in half and then pressing in the center. And then you can see it kind of gives our leaf a little bit of dimension where it looks real. We're putting one dot of glue on the, on the back, on the bottom, and then flip it over and decide where you want your leaves to go and then press them down. Yes, they can stick off the paper. They look great when they hang off the paper. And then you can kind of fold or bend the edges as you go. And then again, fold. And once you fold, then press, open. And again, one dot of glue on the back of the leaves. So now we're gonna add our leaves. Now 
Next is the coffee filter flower. It's one of my favorite parts of the project. I would put something underneath, whether it's a piece of paper or a newspaper, fold your paper in half and in half again, and then fold that coffee filter one more time. Then you are going to use paint and water in your paintbrush, and you are going to use whatever colors you'd like your flower to be, getting lots of color on your brush, and then pressing, make sure you press into your coffee filter. You really wanna make sure the color goes through both sides of the coffee filter. So you keep doing this until all of your color is done. All right, once your coffee filler is pretty much soaked through both sides, you are then going to carefully open up your coffee filter, be very delicate, but it's beautiful. It is a radial symmetry um, design, almost looks like tie-dye. You can lay that out and we do need to let that dry somewhere. So let's move that to the side. That does need to dry until it's completely finished. Bringing that bird back in. All right, so now we're going to add a few extra details. All right, so now we're going to add white oil pastel, um, or you can use a white color pencil, but we're gonna use white oil pastel to add our U shapes, just to give us the illusion or the look of feathers. And then with the blue oil pastel, we're going to add three little toes coming off of each bump at the bottom for a total of six. So three on one foot and three on the other. And you do wanna color in back and forth, back and forth, making sure that you can really see that blue um, oil pastel for those feet. If you miss a few feathers, go back and add those in. Once that part is done, we are then going to start taking a few colors and adding some details to our branch. So a yellow or a brown, um, and we're gonna add dashes or broken line um, to our branches, working our way through. And we will also add some blue oil pastel on the branches as well with a dashed line or a broken line. So take your time looking for those open spots, adding in those um, dashed or broken lines. Now we're gonna start with our blue. If you have to peel off some wrapper, you certainly can. Okay, so bringing that toucan back in, we need to add some extra details with a white oil pastel, drawing from the middle of the beak down to the middle of the back. We are going to add a white section, coloring in pretty heavy with the oil pastel, um, making sure that we've covered up as much black as we possibly can in that part of the body so that it is very, very white and that section does stand out. So be sure to go back in and fill in any um, gaps or areas that need to be filled in. We are then going to work on the eyeball. So using a Google eye with some glue, we are gonna put a pretty good size dot on the back of the eye. And then it glues right next to that white section just behind the beak. Okay, so looking at our coffee filter, we're now going to turn this into a flower by folding it in half, okay, pressing them across the middle section, folding it in half again and then folding it again into that last pie piece. Once we get that, we are then going to take a pencil um, and we are going to draw a flower shape, a V shape in the middle. I'm gonna use Sharpie so you can see it. I'm gonna draw from one side to the middle and then back up the other. You can see the V shape in the center of it. Um, be sure to put your cap back on of Sharpie if you're using it, grab your scissors and cut on the V shape. When you cut this out and you open it up, you're going to get a beautiful flower shape. So carefully cut up those Sharpie lines and then very gently unfold your flower. Amazing, there it is, it's beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to scrunch it up in the middle. Just give it a pinch, scrunch it up, wrinkle it up. We don't want a giant large flower in our picture. We just want it to be big enough that you can see it. So scrunch that up and put that to the side. Find a spot where you want it to go, top or bottom. I'm gonna put it in the bottom where I have not a lot of things glued on over here. Add a dot of glue, pinch your flower in the middle, scrunch it up, and then you are going to stick that in the glue. So just kind of scrunch it and place it where you want it to go. And then you have to hold it down for just a couple of seconds to make sure that it stays on your picture. 
Okay, looks great. Now if you find that your flower needs a little bit extra glue because it's not secure, put another dot or two of glue under that flower and be sure to press and hold it down so that it does stick really well in that glue. Okay, then you're going to use a crayon um, with the color of your choice, a darker color works best, coloring in the center of your flowers. And then you can also lift and pick up your petals and leaves just to make sure that they look kind of 3D. Okay, it is looking great. Now the last thing we're going to do, um, we are going to be using a blue oil pastel. Two cans have beautiful blue eyes. Sometimes they're dark and sometimes they're light. We're going to very carefully holding down the eye, color just around the eye on the black paper, back and forth, back and forth, making sure that you can really see that blue. So take your time, be careful, and work your way around that eye space. And then this is the last and final thing we're going to do for these beautiful toucans. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And there we go. There's our terrific toucans.